So what are you guys thinking about doing for sketches this episode? Well, I'm thinking about doing a sketch about a sketch from beginning to end. Elaborate. So right now I probably have the camera like right there and the boom like right here. Go on. Well then I would add music like right now. Keep going. And then I'd probably have Clayton take over, so I'm not sketch too much. Okay, what do you have for me? Uh, what do I say? Uh, well, my script says that you asked me, what do I say nervously? What do I say nervously? How do you have a script already? Well, um, it says here in the script that you like the idea and we should do a cutaway of me writing the script for this sketch. Hmm. I like the idea. After Emily approves the idea, comma, cut, ooh, cut away to me writing this script. And the camera over my Shoulder, check, change the music. Switch between medium shot, close up, close up, fix changes for Emily, period. Okay, uh, so it says here that I will say action and then Sage, he will pitch the idea for a sketch within a sketch. But since I'm here, my part will be replaced. Okay. That guy looks just like me. Alright, action! What sketch ideas do you guys have for me this episode? Well, I was thinking about doing a sketch about a sketch from beginning to end. Go on. So, this is the part where I do a voiceover and Sage and Emily act out the sketch. Wow, what a lovely day. And Sage is just so handsome. I mean, that's what the script says anyways. And now it says I should awkwardly end the voiceover and cut to me editing. Fade to black. All right, let's change the music here. Oh yeah, this is my favorite part. What a great sketch. Who am I kidding? I hate editing. It's so worthless and a waste of time. Oh well. Hey, Clayton, how's this going? You're still wearing the same clothes I see. Yeah, well, we filmed this today, so, you know. Right. So, uh, what are you gonna do next with this? Well, uh, it says that it's going to cut to a final shot of us watching it, and you're going to tell me what you think about it. So what'd you think? 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 I don't know, way too meta for me. It's probably not going to make the episode. Hmm. Well, maybe they'll like it. Welcome to Akron After Hours. So what'd you think? Pretty funny, right? Well, if you like that sketch, then you're gonna love the rest of this episode. So make sure you stick around and watch it all here at Akron After Hours. Hey Clayton, do you wanna take a break from editing and like play hide and seek? Yeah, I mean, I guess I could use a break. We have been up here for eight hours. I know, okay, you go hide, I'll count. Okay. One, two, three, What? I'm back out here? That doesn't even make sense. I'm just gonna go back to the editing bay. Hopefully I'll find Emily. What? Since when did we change our name from ZTV to WTV? What does the W even stand for? Whatever. 
Hey, Emily. Like, I know we're playing hide and seek, but I just need to edit right now. Okay, you must have me confused for someone else, because my name's Yelimi. Now, out of my way. Wait, what? She must be mad I quit playing the game. Chris, I'm so glad I ran into you. I think something weird is happening. Well, first of all, it's Topher, and who are you? It's me, Clayton. We're on the same team, Akron After Hours. Never seen you. And it's Akron Before Hours. Wait a second. <laughs> the prophecy must be coming true. Prophecy? A warlock runs a station, but long ago it was run by a feline named Juan. The only problem is no one has seen Juan in ages. Okay, what does this have to do with me? You are going to save the station! All you have to do is find Juan the feline and take down the warlock. Okay, well, where is this feline? Rumor has it it's located somewhere in the studio. You're telling me he's been there the whole time and no one has gone to look for him there? I guess not. Good luck. So, you're the feline everyone's talking about, huh? I respect that. So I assume I'm gonna do this all by myself, but you're gonna tag along and claim all the hard work? Let's go. Who are you? I'm Clayton, and I'm here to take the station back. No, my watch. <laughs> Looks like my work here is done. Oof. Ha! Found you! Wait, hasn't it been like hours? Hours? Try like three minutes. Maybe you just need to get better at hiding. Hey, I think I have a good sketch idea. Okay, why don't you tell me about it? Hey Kevin, what you working on? Oh, I have to write this paper. It's like a retelling of the Romeo and Juliet story. Oh, right. I did that last night. Uh, just write about the B and you should get an A. Hey, thanks. By the way, do you know what this box is over here? I mean, it was here when I got here this morning. Which box? That box? Yes, the one right here on this desk. Which desk? Dude, come on, you're acting weird. Yes, this desk right here. Why do you need to know? It's not your box. It's not your concern. So it's your box then? No. <laughs> no. 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 I never said that. Can we just forget about the box? Whatever, just, just forget I asked. Listen, Kevin, I know how you get. You get all snoopy. I need you to promise me you will not open that box. James, I told you, I don't care. <laughs> all right, I'm glad we're past this. How about this paper thing? Hey, guys. Get out! What is wrong with you? Everyone needs to chill out. You're the only one freaking out here. Look. I don't know whose box that is, and I don't know what's in the box. I just think we should respect the box and its owner and not open it. Okay, now you're freaking me out. I'm leaving. What? No way. I don't believe this. I... I must be dreaming. Oh, it's very real, Kevin. Who's there? Oh, sorry. It's very real, Kevin. James! I told you not to open that. I warned you. And you betrayed me. Look, I'm sorry. I just... I... Okay, have you even seen what is in this thing? I'm well aware of its contents. But now you do as well, you must pay. I'm sorry, I... I won't do it again. Just don't hurt me. Hurt you? <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna make you pay. No, please, I'm sorry. Now pay the price. Hello there. 
I am Mr. Little Business from the Little Business Company. We do little business in a big way. What's going on here? It appears you've opened my box and are now the owner of this tiny little business. James, I'm lost. It's a little business box. I was trying to hold on to it, but you're the new owner now. You gotta pay me 300 little bucks. Little bucks? What's the conversion rate? Not good. 10 big bucks is one little buck. Big bucks? Just no more money to us. I've lost my mind. This can't be real. Just pay me and you will own this box. Hey, what are you doing? That's our big briefcase. Why is his briefcase so much bigger than he is? I need to do my little business in a big way. That reminds me, don't forget to clean his box. So it's like a pet? Hey, that's my briefcase. Wow, like I haven't heard of that one before. Every time my box is sold, it's always the same thing. You know us little people have big feelings too. I'm sorry, I'm just really confused right now. It's alright. I'm kind of a big deal here at this company. So having someone like you pick on us really hurts our business. Kevin, if you're not going to pay for the box, then you're going to have to work off your debt. But I don't have any small bucks. Little bucks. Right, little bucks. Alright, well then you better get to work. Hey, did you hear that little sales are huge right now? Oh, this is humiliating. I was like that too, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad. Every day, there is a sad, broke college student somewhere on campus. About 18.2 million college students are enrolled now. That's a lot of unhappy campers. Although financial aid and scholarships do help, it's just not enough. My name's Tyler, and won't you be a helper of a weak college student? Every day, college students are abused with the amount of schoolwork they have and lack of money for fun activities. They're crying for help. So please, call the number on your screen now and join BCSOA, also known as Broke College Students of America. You will be donating $100.22 every two weeks. That's only $7.16 and you will save a college student and provide them with good food, more festivities, and love. Call within the next 30 minutes and we will send you a picture of a broke college student that you gave a second chance to. Thank you. It's just seven dollars and sixteen cents. A frappuccino is, is about that. How selfish of you sitting in your house with your seven dollars and sixteen cents. They need you now. You have an opportunity to help them. You better call. Oh, I know if you will. And this is a really big empty room. Wow. Oh, he's gonna be here any minute now. I could prod table. I would take. There are no tables over here. Let me try. Perfect. Just like a table. Oh, it's present. Wrapping paper. We always forget wrapping paper. Good enough. I am, I am so surprised, literally, 
I am, I am so surprised. I, uh, I got you this present, wrapped it myself. Oh. Hey, I, uh, think I know what this is. <laughs> yeah. Donuts. Yeah, yeah, donuts are great. What the f Why did the donut go to the dentist? To get a filling, ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I donut want to hear about donuts again. Uh, uh, uh. I meant like, do not, like do not, like I do not want to hear any more about donuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh that is a good one. Oh. Uh, uh. Best birthday. Hi, I'm standing in a power position with my back turned to the camera to give you a sense of discomfort, maybe a little bit of concern. And that's when I turn around. And at this point, you get to see my face. Maybe it's familiar, maybe it's not but I'm gonna spend this time to make awkward eye contact with the camera so that you get a sense of comfort and begin to trust me because I look like I have authority. Look at all these windows I'm standing by, right? So now that we've got the bond, I'm going to go this way a little bit while walking off camera to make it look like a seamless transition. Now that I've familiarized myself with you a little bit and you get to know me, you feel a little bit of trust and that's when I bring up a common solution, or a common idea you've had. Maybe it's a product or service you've never heard of, maybe it's something you've looked into, but now I've definitely piqued your interest. But there's a catch. Let me show you how there's a catch as I turn my body, closing my own body language off, making you feel a little bit nervous, going to this darker window. Uh-oh, I'm standing at the window again, which means that obviously there's something to potentially think about. With my arms crossed, I'm obviously giving off a pensive vibe because even though I've just talked about a product or service that you should definitely buy from me, there's somehow a draw, catch, or concern. But how do I defeat this concern? Well, the first thing is, I just say that it doesn't exist in turn, looking to the camera, giving you a nice, comfortable, warm, glowing feeling, as I then open my arms again to give you an emotional appeal. This is when I'm casually relaxing my body, going from a tense to an open. Now that we feel more comfortable, and I've not only identified, admitted, created, and destroyed the concern, now we can really get to business. Because I just fixed the problem that I made up for the product that you're not really that interested in that I'm still gonna sell you. Watch as I seal this deal. Check this out. Buy my product. Because even though you don't know what it is, and ultimately it's nothing at all, I haven't even really suggested what it could possibly do. I'm just saying you need it. Because if you don't, you could have a problem. And you trust me. Right? Ah, so you want to be 3D? Yep. A lot more responsibility now. I know. Well, you know you have to learn how to brush your teeth, comb your hair, and even learn how to breathe. Yeah, yeah. Can we just start the procedure? I don't have all day here. Calm down. Why so anxious? Well, to tell you the truth, my parents don't really know I'm here. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, but I think we're going to need a parent guardian to finish the- Stole my dad's credit card. Just bill whatever. But we've been known to make exceptions. I'm going to need you to sit still and keep your eyes closed. I don't think they close. Just close them! What? Wow. It worked! 
I'm actually 3D. This is the best day of my life. I can't wait to go show my mom and dad how the legs work. Mom, dad, what do you think? I'm 3D. Peter? Matt? Is that you? It sure is. Well, you're still flat, Matt, but welcome home, son. Thanks, Dad. Don't ruin the moment. Mom, what do you think? I think I want my old son back. But, Mom, isn't this what you wanted? I never asked for this. I liked you the way you were. But I'm, I'm 3D now. I'm just like everyone else. Honey, you don't have to be just like everyone else. That's what made you so special. Are you sure it wasn't because he looked like Pablo Picasso's refrigerator art? And those cute little red eyes that never blinked. Mom, why didn't you tell me this? I didn't think I needed to. How about we go see a live action film? My treat. Peter, why can't you ever just talk things through? Because this is dumb. He's fine. No, he is not. Matt, you're fine, right? I guess. See, he's fine. That is some great parenting. Well, you can just... I belong. took it. I am flat Matt. I know, I know, I know. I'm a great dancer. It's because of those dance lessons from the beginning of the semester. Anyways, I have some great news. Our last episode of the semester is going to air live, so be sure to look out for the date on our social media. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you there, live. Roar! Yep, that's me. I bet you're all wondering how I got here. Let's start from the beginning. Man, I've always wanted to be on TV. Hello, and welcome back to your favorite game show. Vaguely describe that movie that just came out so you don't ruin it for your friend. I'm your host, <laughs> and our first contestant? Tell them what our prizes are, Expo. Hmm, looks like this first prize is gonna be a silver car. But that's my car. Second prize? Hmm, I think I'll make it this washing machine with a dryer. It's brand new, it's kinda, it's not so new. But it's a prize. And that's my washing machine. This windbreaker, very nice. That's my windbreaker. Lastly, this is a goatee, yeah. That's my goatee mustache. Despite it being Flanco's day and having the day off, Chris decided to go into work. What? Who said that? Flanco stays tomorrow. Army. This army. Pero yo no te entiendo, ¿por qué estás comprando zapatos cuando no tienes pies? ¿Qué vas a hacer con los zapatos? Yo no entiendo por qué estás gastando mucho dinero. Out 
this math problem. Thanks for meeting with me. I don't know why I always hide behind the camera. You're so beautiful. Is that hair natural? <laughs> Is your dad a, a, an explosion? Because you're a nice boom. Soup's a little flat, huh? <laughs> I'm very nervous. <laughs> Harold! I, I think you have a gambling problem. I told you it's not my fault. My tiny arms, I can't fold. We've lost so much already. We have not. We're doing fine. We live in a freezer! Hey, <laughs> I'm on TV. Hey, I'm on TV. Hey, I'm on TV. Hey, I'm on TV. Hey, I'm on TV. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.